Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. In Switched On Schoolhouse 8th Grade Bible, your students will study units that focus on practical Christianity and church history with topics like prayer, the attributes of God, early church history, the book of Proverbs, understanding the family, and much more. Now let's take a look at an 8th grade Bible lesson to see how concepts like these are covered. In a unit entitled Attributes of God, let's look at a lesson called Immutability, Divine Perfection. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. Immutability. I-M-M-U-T-A-B-I-L-I-T-Y. Good. Now do you know what it means? Immutability means unchanging. Okay, and an example? This rock is immutable. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't see it changing anytime soon. True, you probably won't see it change, but over many years, uh, wind and rain will probably change this rock. So, technically, it's not immutable. So you mean immutable doesn't just mean changing, it means it never ever changes? That's one way of putting it. Well, the only thing I know that never ever changes is God. Exactly! At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Variableness. Essence. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Let's look at a sample. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. After this introductory material, your students then move independently through the lesson, reading the text-based instruction and utilizing the multimedia features that have been provided. Most Bible lessons require students to read a portion of Scripture as part of their study. All Scripture passages quoted within a lesson are highlighted in blue. Parents may select to utilize either the King James Version or New American Standard versions of the Bible. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called Tiny Tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. When reading through the Bible, we find that some of the most miraculous works that God did involved people. He not only divided the Red Sea, stopped the sun from going down, and made fire fall from heaven, he also changed people. He changed their hearts. God can take people from any background, make them new on the inside, and redirect their lives. Think about Paul. Before meeting God, Paul was a murderer, hunting down Christians. But God changed Paul and turned him into a great missionary. What about today? Does God still work miracles in the hearts of men? Can you think of any miraculous changes that God is bringing about in the life of someone you know? Has he made any miraculous changes in your life? Web-enabled links allow students to safely use the Internet to locate carefully chosen supplements to course content.
At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, true and false, sequencing, multiple choice, good and multiple bad. select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. Correct. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.